Natural gas futures fell for the fourth time in five sessions on Thursday, following a bearish storage print and continued calls for warmer weather to start the year ahead. Today's EIA weekly net gas storage report printed a draw of minus 87 billion cubic feet, a little lighter than market expectations but decently smaller than the five-year average draw of minus 124 billion cubic feet. The draw decreased supplies from 3,412 to 3,325 billion and flipped deficits to surpluses of plus 22 billion cubic feet. Next week's EIA report will bring a larger-than-normal draw due to cold temperatures sweeping across the U.S. this past week to flip surpluses back to deficits, which will increase further on the current Arctic blast sweeping across the country into early next week. Futures prices were weaker from the opening on Thursday despite forecasts for extreme cold over the next week. The overnight weather data continued to show Arctic chills spreading deep into the U.S. over the next several days, including far south into Texas. However, the overnight data held one of the warmest patterns of the past 40 years for the final few days of December into early January. How long this warmer-than-normal pattern extends into January will be of great interest since the longer it holds, the more likely it's going to continue disappointing traders waiting for a prolonged winter rally. The cold weather is hurting production in Texas but traders don't seem to be bothered by that news since warmer weather is coming shortly. Bearish traders also seem to be downplaying the restart of the Freeport LNG facility. When it comes back online, the response should be positive for natural gas prices because the facility accounts for about 2% of national demand. Technically, the main trend is down and momentum is pointed to the downside. If $4.75 is taken out with conviction then look for the selling to possibly extend into former bottoms at $4.50 and $4.